right, y'all, good morning. Beautiful Sunday morning in Jacksonville, Florida. Currently got my 6R P320 with the TXG grips, and I've also got the Romeo, the Sig Romeo Pro 1 red dot on it. So just want to get a few rounds down range, and I've never used a red dot before. This is actually my first time using a red dot, y'all, so a little excited, a little nervous at the same time, because I'm used to regular, you know, the fixed iron sights on there, so let's see what I do. Let's get it, let's get it zeroed in. All right, y'all, let's take go. Okay, so I need to come up a few and just a little bit to the left. So not bad, not bad at all. all right, let, me go ahead, let me go ahead and make my adjustments real quick to the to the sights and see where we at once I make the adjustments. Let me do those real quick. Huh, still the same error, so. Still appears to be in the same area, so I need to adjust it a little more. All right, let's see where we at now. So I need to bring it up a little more. So let's bring it up a little more. Let's, let me just show y'all, because I know you can't see from there, where we currently at. So this is where I'm at right now. Started from down here, walking my way up. So like I need to do about maybe one more full turn or one more half turn, and I should be in there. So let's see. All right, just made a little tweak of minor adjustments. Let's see where we at now to see if I done walked it up and got it right in center. So, Let's check. Once again, it's my first time doing red dots, so this is a learning curve for me. So any any recommendations or comments um, down below would definitely be appreciated. We're there. And I think right now we are good to go for seven yards with the red dot. So the tall tail, the the tell all, the tell all tail. Jeez, I'm <laughs> when I get on these steel plates and go back 15 yards to see, because it should still be good to go. So let's go and take a look and see how we're gonna fare once we get on top of these steel plates. But that'll let me know if I did 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 uh, decent on it. But once again, give me some comments down below. Let me know how I can improve this. Cause like I said, first time, and I. Just going for it. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, so now we're at the steel plates. I'm back at 15 yards. I believe the plates are about eight inches, uh, eight inches in in uh in width. So we got the Sig Sawyer Romeo Pro One red dot on the on the P320 with the TXG. So let's go ahead and see how good it does on the plates now. Since we saw how it did on the on the target at seven yards, 15 yards, eight inch plates. Let's go. See if I can show y'all the dot on here. Y'all see it there? There's the red dot right there. <laughs> All right, everybody's got through shooting the 
6 or P320 with the TX group utilizing the Romeo Pro 1 sight and I will say it was a very good experience. I've never used a red dot sight as I stated in the video earlier and it's my first time and I can see why people like them, that, you know, that have them, why they swear by them because it definitely makes it easier, it appears to be easier to actually, you know, stay on target than to shoot and I see why folks say, oh, when you got a red dot on your pistol, you're cheating. I get it, I understand why. But overall, great experience. You definitely see you guys this again. And I think I'm gonna just leave this dedicated on this pistol here as opposed to removing it and using the, the regular um, iron sights on it, as they say. So I think I'll go ahead and stick with um go ahead and stick with the uh, keeping the red dot on here. But overall, great experience, great experience. And I got a great deal on this red dot from gunbroker.com. If you're not on gunbroker, like I said, like I always say, you need to get on there. You can find some great deals, even during this pandemic. Um, times I found an excellent deal on this red dot site so and it has the uh, steel shroud that goes around it as well so I would definitely highly suggest you know checking out, uh, checking out gunbroker.com but anyway just want to bring this quick little review to you all nothing fancy like you know I don't do I don't get too in depth but overall I liked it all right so as I always say I look forward to seeing you at the range one day and I mean that all right y'all peace out